I cleared six years of hormonal acne naturally. Right now, I'm not wearing any makeup, so this is what my skin looks like bare. In this video, I go over everything I learned so you can avoid my mistakes. By the end of this video, I will share step by step what I did to clear six years of hormonal acne naturally. Your skin did not get to where it is today overnight. This is not a quick fix. So be kind to yourself, be gentle, and let's get into my crazy six year journey. Let's take it back to the start. In 2016, I start noticing acne on my skin. A little bit of concealer solves the problem and boom, that works for two years. I ignore my heavy periods and hair fall. Little did I know, I would soon begin a journey that would change the course of my next six years. In September of 2018, I began my first year of university. Two months in and shit literally hits the fan. My skin is severely inflamed. I'm talking pimples all over my face, losing hair, uncomfortable periods, and feeling hopeless. Overnight, I make a drastic change. I cut out foods I know have an inflammatory effect on my body. No more dairy, gluten, processed sugar, and inflammatory oils. Every morning, I drink a green smoothie filled with vegan protein powder, a bunch of veggies, and a glass of celery juice. For lunch, I enjoy a Power Bowl, making sure to include protein, healthy fats, and carbs. This is two oranges, sauteed walnuts, and a few Brazil nuts, and a light dinner. I stick to this diet. I become leaner, but I'm not happy with one thing in particular. I do everything right. Like it's not gotten worse, it's just I'm not seeing the results that I want. There's a lot there's a lot and i'm frustrated all i really want is cheesecake i need to do more i start listening to podcasts and learn about gut health sleep and become hooked with optimizing my health at this point i would do anything for clear skin i learned that our gut comprises over 80% of our immune system and is the foundation for good health. I learn our bodies operate on a 24-hour sleep-wake cycle. Getting sunlight in the morning supports this cycle. I learn sleeping between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. are key hours for cellular repair. I also visit my naturopathic doctor who prescribes me with Retina-A, a topical vitamin A cream. Long story short, it doesn't work. Topical creams and products, even natural ones, weren't going to clear my skin. The end of my first year of university is now around the corner. Every day, I wake up, drink a green smoothie, take supplements, go to class, make a Power Bowl while listening to a podcast about health, eat the Power Bowl, study, journal, occasionally meditate, sleep, and repeat. I read every ingredient label before purchasing groceries to avoid eating unnecessary chemicals. I'm not perfect, but I'm disciplined. Things start to work very slowly, like as slow as a snail. I'm nowhere near that gorgeous glowing skin that I so deeply desire with every fiber in my body. And on a regular day in April, first year university comes to an end. So we've got three boxes to take downstairs and one microwave. And it's time to go home for the summer. But why is my skin not glowing? There is one question I need to ask myself. What am I missing? This summer, I fly from my home in Toronto to Alberta to visit family. I ask myself again, what am I missing? The answer becomes clear. Visualization and meditation. Using the law of attraction. This means feeling my desire of clear skin ahead of the physical experience. This stuff is scientifically proven to work. So I begin. Every day, I visualize having clear skin. I pray and I continue putting in the work with my diet and lifestyle. I start noticing significant improvements and feel hopeful. Was meditation my missing ingredient all along? A couple months later, fall 2019 comes around. I move back to university for my second year, but this time things are different. I have a part-time job as a residence life don on campus. Your girl is employed and I'm always stressed and busy. My skin would get better then worse. Many mornings, I'd rush out the door to my first class. The result was eating my first meal sometime in the afternoon. What I didn't know is inflammation in the body is only exacerbated by poor stress management and that by skipping breakfast, not only am I hurting my skin, I am also hurting my hormones 
and blood sugar levels. One morning before class, I take a good look at my skin. After analyzing it, something I never let myself do, I decide I'm not attending my physics lecture. I mean, how could I? My skin is terribly inflamed. I don't want anyone seeing me like this. A whole year had passed and I felt stuck in the same place. After crying my heart out, I start looking for more solutions. With all the research I've done, all the experts I've listened to, what could I be missing? Maybe I need to detox, give my digestive system a break. I've never tried a juice cleanse before, I think to myself. So it's settled. I go to purchase a five-day juice cleanse in hopes it would heal me. I'll save you the guessing. It did not. The new year comes around and I fly to Taiwan for a four-month internship. The pimples are real, but I try my best to walk with confidence. What's the old saying again? If you can't love me at my worst, you don't deserve to love me at my best. Anyways, I'm in Taiwan now. Everyone speaks Chinese in the village I work in, except for me. The ingredient labels are all in Chinese, so I learn to let go of reading labels and focus on sending good energy to the food I eat. Don't get me wrong, I don't eat ice cream for every meal. In fact, my work provides delicious organic meals for me, but when I eat out, I accept that not every ingredient is in my control. I begin my yoga journey here, which becomes medicine for my body. Why didn't anyone tell me that certain poses directly impact specific organs in our body? It's incredible, really. One morning before work, I'm listening to a podcast about acne and hormone. Chinese medicine comes up. This gets me thinking, what better place than East Asia to try Chinese medicine for the first time? After being recommended a location, my intern friend Tiffany and I decide to pay the doctor a visit. Tiffany acts as a translator for me. The doctor explains that I have a lot of heat in my body, especially in my liver. In short, my body is out of balance. I'm given a powder to consume three times a day after each meal. He gives me medicine for a week and tells me to come back in seven days. First time. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Honey, okay, you're so dramatic. <laughs> Maybe I should not have smelled it. Is this warm water? Can I put Yeah? Mm -hmm. When I return, he adjusts my medicine and sends me off for another week. He always takes in account my menstrual cycle and my concerns, such as my period being irregular. Using this information, he decides which herbs to put in my medicine. He also gives me a list of foods that have a warming effect on my body and to avoid. My yoga practice, diet, and medicine all work together. Four months later, there are huge improvements in my skin. It's also time to go back home to Canada. I visit my doctor, for the last time with Tiffany, I grab two extra months of medicine and I cry. I cry because this medicine gives me hope. I cry because I'm tired of this acne journey. I cry because I'm so grateful for Tiffany and my doctor for helping me to heal my skin. I arrive in Canada May 1st, 2020 and experience my first taste of lockdown. During the summer, I continue to take my medicine and my skin seems to be doing all right. Little did I know, life has another curveball right around the corner. The summer quickly passes and in September, I'm back at university for my third year. Here I'll be living for the next eight months. I take a good look at my skin and realize I'm eating the healthy food, I'm doing the meditation, I took the Chinese medicine, yet there has to be something missing yet again. I decide to work with a practitioner who specializes in hormones and begin with my blood work. I feel there is something wrong with me, so I visit a walk-in clinic to get a requisition form. The medical doctor refuses to give me the test I want, so I try again with my family doctor, who said, and I quote, it is a waste of resources. I continue to advocate for myself, and thankfully, my naturopathic doctor gives me the requisition form, though it comes with a fee. I also get a Dutch test done. This is the most advanced hormone test that I'm aware of. The results of this test are crucial in understanding what's going on in my body, because basic blood work didn't give me the full picture. I get my test results back, and I'm shocked. I learned that my progesterone levels are way too low. Progesterone is a female sex hormone crucial in a healthy menstrual cycle and overall good health. Low progesterone levels are a common but not normal symptom many women experience. My adrenal glands that support my stress hormone cortisol are also fatigued. My lifestyle of taking on too many responsibilities since high school 
has caught up to me. I learn I'm not eating enough protein and yoga and strength training are the best movements to support my adrenals, not cardio. Along with not eating enough protein, I also learn that I need to eat within an hour of waking up to support my adrenal glands. Gone are the days of eating my first meal in the afternoon. I start taking daily vitamin D, magnesium before bed, supplements for my liver, probiotics, and essential fatty acids. I add these on top of my already clean eating and other great lifestyle habits. I begin saying no to things and realize I don't have to do it all. I learned that as a woman, my body is always in one of four phases of my menstrual cycle. I begin working with these four phases and now have a YouTube series diving into how to support your body best during each phase. So let's go over every single thing that I did. Removing common inflammatory foods from my diet. Oils I stuck to are coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, as well as ghee, which is clarified butter. I focused on consuming whole foods that were going to nourish and support my gut microbiome. And number two, sleep. This allowed my body to rest and repair and for my cells to heal. Number three, lifestyle. I had to take a good look around at what was going on in my life that was causing me so much stress that I wasn't able to balance my stress. I said no to more things. I took time for myself. I would journal, I would meditate, and I would do yoga. All of these three things are incredible for clearing our body, releasing emotions. Healing acne is a mental, physical, and spiritual process. Number four, I took my supplements. Number five, I did everything I could to support my hormones. This meant eating upon waking in the morning within the first hour, eating enough protein throughout the day. It means the managing the stress and every other point that I've already listed. And number six, letting go. There's a point where you can't focus on your skin. You can't nitpick. I didn't wake up in the morning and look at my face in the mirror and start analyzing. That was the complete opposite of what I did. I smiled to myself. I didn't look too harshly at my skin. I didn't check to see if it was completely healed overnight because that's just not how it's gonna work. It's not an overnight process. I let it take its time. I was kind to myself. Your skin did not get to where it is today, overnight. The healing is going to take time. For me, it took six years. It's a long, long time. So there comes a point where you need to let go, trust God, trust the universe that you will heal and have full faith in that. Oftentimes I would walk around as I would if I had clear skin because I wanted to embody that version of myself. Essentially, that's manifesting your clear skin for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and showing up for yourself. Please drop a like if you got any value from this video. Subscribe to the channel for more wellness and lifestyle content. If you have any questions or would like me to go deeper on a specific topic in this video, please comment it down below. Follow me over on my Instagram and I will see you in the next video. For now, I'm sending you love wherever you are. Bye.